Hi guys, today I'm here at Donington Park for the first official test day of the 2022 GT Cup season. I'm here with Greystone GT with a bit of the behind the scenes in the paddocks as this is one of the steps on my motorsport career that I want to take. So let's take a look around. <laughs> GT Cup is it has a wide variety of classes all the way up to GTO but not only that you've got pro and am drivers giving a wide variety of experience and also a huge variety of car manufacturers so we have McLarens, Porsches all the way down to Mustangs as well it's going to make for a really exciting season. So now let's speak to some of the women of GT. I'm uh, Anna Bleska, British GT driver, been involved in motorsport for a long time, now doing a bit of coaching. Um, and I met this one in 2018. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, my name is Laura Jones. I'm a mechanic for uh, Greystone GT in the GT Cup paddock. I also do a little bit of media and uh, yeah. We met through British, didn't we? I we think. Did. Yeah, there's not, well, there wasn't many females involved in motorsport in general, actually, you know, whether it's racing drivers or mechanics. Um, and in 2018, I ran a team in British GT with Mercedes GT4. Um, and Laura came with us most weekends, a um, little bit on the spanners. A little bit, yeah. Work, work. That's where it all started, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's how we met, worked <laughs> in the background. Um, and then you've gone on to do bigger and better things. That's it, so. Hannah's obviously carried on driving, doing lots of coaching and stuff like that. What's in the background, I've been on the spanners, sort of in British GT, GT Cup, um, European Rallycross, that sort of stuff. But I think every time it seems to come back to GT racing, doesn't it? It does, yeah, that's my baby really, or where I'm most comfortable at. But I think, you know, talking about women in motorsport, we have, we have to go there because that's mm -hmm. what we stand for and represent. It's really good to see that the momentum's building. Massively. More women involved. Um, you've got the likes of W Series out there and, and other um, formulas, let's say, that are attracting women. And Absolutely. I, you know, I think that's really good. The only thing that I've always thought about, um, and the reason perhaps why I've not raced in those championships, is because I've never had that opportunity to be separate or segregated from the men. I've always had to race against the guys and whatever the grid is is what the grid is. So I think, yes, it's great to encourage women to get into the sport, but equally, stand alone, stand on your own two feet, race within the sport as it is, which mm -hmm. is mixed. Exactly, and, and, and that and goes better. for everything, doesn't it? Not just the racing, you know, there's so many different jobs that females can do in this industry, whether that's media, whether that's engineering, the hospitality, there's so many different avenues that women can take. So. Even if you know the racing hasn't necessarily gone to plan for you, there's so many different things you can do to get involved in this industry. To the right of me, I've got a GT4 McLaren, and to the left, the GT3. Now, they are both McLarens, so there's a lot more than meets the eye, so let's have a look. The GT3 is a higher performance car, so it benefits from things like bigger brakes and a lot more aero, down from the spoiler to the splitter, and also a huge diffuser, giving you so much downforce paired with that 720 brake horsepower. You also get a lot more intimidating look, including some updating windmills as well. But the most important thing is that the cockpit is a lot more complex, so things from the wheel, the centre console, there's a lot more going on. Whereas the GT4 is a 570S based on a road car, so less aero, much more simple cockpit and less brake horsepower, but still an awesome car in its own right. GT for inviting me here behind the scenes today. It's been really exciting seeing everything that goes on. It's going to be a really exciting season this year in GT Cup, so make sure you check these guys out in the link below and give them a follow to keep up to date with everything going on. Now, hopefully, it's going to be me sat here behind the wheel sometime soon, but for now, you guys know the drill. 
Make my journey your journey. Like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.